This little gadget has some bold claims. We're going to find out if it does what it says on the tin in Microsoft Flight Simulator. We'll look at the features, the build quality, how it works, the software, and the price. So you can decide if it's right for you. Toby sent this to me for the purposes of a review. This is a sponsored video. However, everything said going forward is my own thoughts. So what does it do? The Toby Eye Tracker will replicate your head movement and eye movement if you choose inside your sim to whatever degree and percentage you want. You can also choose the axis, like all of them or one of them. You can move forward, back, yaw, pitch, rotate. You get the idea. It also has an extra little trick up its sleeve, which is very unique. And we'll get to that a bit further in the video. Let's start off with the design and build quality. Out of the box, this is excellent. Super clean lines with a very modern and slim look. It's extremely unobtrusive. You'll hardly notice it when playing, which is what you want. You can see I have the small tripod mount with mine as my monitor kind of dips below the yoke a little bit. The tripod mount allows me to mount it to a mini tripod or just attach it directly to the yoke like I've got it here. The USB cable is attached to the side and also comes with a USB extension which will be handy for some setups. Overall, it's a very high-end looking and feeling bit of kit. Now for the software and the install. The process of getting this thing up and running was super simple, almost too simple. The software auto-installed itself when connected and then walked me through the whole calibration process, which was really quick and easy. Overall, it's quite modern compared to other head tracking solutions. Very intuitive overall. You can adjust and calibrate it natively inside Microsoft Flight Simulator and through the app for your other sims like DCS, War Thunder, etc. It even has Steam Deck integration, which I haven't fully utilized yet, but it's an interesting touch. I've got no doubt I'll get that fully integrated when my Stream Deck is up and running. As I said before, the Toby Eye Tracker essentially tracks your head and reproduces those movements to whatever scale you set inside the sim. Now, the default profile was way too sensitive for what I needed, so I scaled it back quite a bit. There's no real surprise, it's very accurate. Is it more accurate than its competitors? Look, it's hard to say. In this shot here, you can see I'm in Microsoft Flight Simulator and it just works flawlessly. I'm obviously on a triple screen, so I might not get the full benefit, bearing in mind I already have like almost 180 degree view, but I'll tell you what I love most in Flight Simulator. Let's jump over onto the sim. All right, let's see if we can line this up so I can give you an example of why I think this is absolutely brilliant. I'm crabbing the plane right now. I can't see the runway past the pillar, but with the eye tracker in, I look to the left, there it is. Or I can look to the right. Same thing again, I can keep that runway in view. And that's where I think this is absolutely fantastic. You see here, I've got Heavy right rudder in. Again, can't see a thing. I want to peep out to the left, I can see it. Back into the middle. And I can look up over the dash. <laughs> this is just terrible land, absolute terrible landing. Anyway, there you go. You'll notice that I didn't have all the axes enabled. And that's because in Microsoft Flight Simulator in this current setup with the triple monitors, all I really want is my head position moving. I just, I don't want pitch and I don't want yaw. However, if I wasn't a single screen, then pitch and yaw become much more effective, allowing me to look all around the cockpit, access controls, spot landing zones and moving closer to things on the dash to get a really good view. Now I mentioned earlier it has an extra little trick up its sleeve and that's the eye tracking. Not only will this track your head movements but it will track your eyeballs with gobsmacking accuracy. Now I've heard some people say they don't find much use for eye tracking in flight simulators and I kind of have to agree with that. As accurate and as smooth as it is I'm not sure I'll use it all that much either. What is cool about it though is that I can record it and let's say analyze where and when I'm looking at certain things when I'm flying. It might be useful for some people and more of a training scenario. Where I do think the eye tracking 
could be super powerful though is for sim racers looking to improve their visual technique but I'll let those guys speak to that. One thing to also mention is that Toby say you can use a maximum screen size of 32 inches for the eye tracking part. Not the head tracking, just the eye tracking. This is not my experience. My head sits about 80 centimeters from the screen and about 50 centimeters from the tracker. I almost get full coverage on my 55 inch screen. So I think they've been pretty conservative with that number. Obviously it's all about how close you actually sit to your screen because that affects the angle at which the eye tracker can see your eyes. But just know that if you're on a triple screen setup, you're not going to get eye tracking to your side screens. It's just on that middle one. The Toby Eye Tracker will have varying degrees of usefulness based upon your current setup and what sims you play. For example, if you have large triple screens in Microsoft Flight Simulator, then the Toby Eye Tracker fits in the nice to have bracket. At the other end of the scale, if you're running a single screen, then it starts to become much more valuable. From the perspective of my current setup with Flight Sim with big triple screens, it's given me a few little extras that really puts the icing on the cake for me. Like being able to look up and over the glare shield or around the pillar. Seems like a small benefit, I know, but it's brilliant. So what other games is it great for? Any supported flight games like X-Plane, War Thunder, DCS. If you're on a single screen with any of these, whether that be a standard or an ultra wide, then the benefit of using head tracking, well, let's just say it's a no brainer. This takes me on to the pricing and the value. Now, it's not really what you would call budget friendly. It comes in at 279 euros, and that's about 290, 295 USD, there or thereabouts, but that includes free shipping. If you're on the market for one right now, then Toby is offering a 20% discount for Black Friday, which will end on the 27th of November. So make sure you take advantage of that. Link in the description. As far as price to value goes, it's gonna vary on the use case and the setup as I mentioned before. However, the build quality of this little unit does merit the price. It doesn't feel cheap, it's quite the opposite. So let's talk about the good and the bad, and we're gonna start off with the good. So what did I absolutely love about it? First thing would be, I don't need to wear any type of clip or be wired to my computer. This is a full wireless solution, no clips, no headsets required. It works fine for people who wear glasses. I know that's a question people seem to have quite a lot. I had no issues. I had no problems with it in this darker environment, so I don't think low light is an issue. Visually, it's a very nice looking and feeling piece of equipment. It can be natively tuned in Microsoft Flight Simulator, which is absolutely brilliant. It's fit and forget. Literally, I just fire up the flight sim and it runs. That brings me on to the improvements and what I'd like to see change. Now there's one thing here, there's one thing I'd love them to do with this and that's to split the yaw from the pitch. Now you can adjust the yaw and the pitch separately in the Toby software, but in the case of Microsoft Flight Simulator, the calibration of these two axes seem to be tied. I'd absolutely love individual control of these two axes natively inside Microsoft Flight Simulator. And I think this could just be a software update, so hopefully we'll see this in the future. So based on everything I've said, who would I say the Toby Eye Tracker 5 is for? The Toby Eye Tracker is first and foremost for anyone that's running a single screen and wants to see what's going on around them and look around the cockpit just to gain more situational awareness. It's like a halfway house to VR, so it might be an option for people who struggle with VR. It's most useful in specific games like DCS, Microsoft Flight Simulator, War Thunder and so on. If you have large triple screens though, it's more of a nice to have than a necessity, in my opinion. Look, any games or sims that benefit from extra situational awareness is where it's really gonna shine. Like combat flight sims. My experience of it was great in Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is a fit and forget device that just seamlessly integrates into my sim. Every time I sit down to play, I don't even have to think about it. It's just there doing its thing in the background. 